Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Two Old Gym Guy Gym Product Reviews. So here we go, I'm Lucho Franco. Hey there, I'm Michael DeGood. So well, any further ado, let's just jump right in with Monkey Feet. What, when we first heard about them, when I first saw this, and then you get the name Monkey Feet, it, it, it clicked when, uh, when I realized, okay, with the hand, you got the opposable thumb. You don't have that with your feet, but this is your opposable thumb, is this hook thing. But this was invented by a guy named uh, e e e Evan? 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you'd go to the gym, there'd be too much equipment, or there's not enough equipment left over, and he's stuck in the corner. And one day it just kind of dawned on me, one of the work his leg. And like you said, you know, he doesn't have an opposable thumb. Yeah, so I guess we're gonna find out today, like what that feels like, and and then we'll test the durability, the functional, uh, functional part, and then the, if it lives up to its name. And this is how you do it. There's a thumbbell. Put it right there, that hook. This is underneath the sole. And then you can see the bottom, how that teeth comes up. And there you have it. Yeah. Bring my heel all the way in there. There we go. And then bring this out. That's it. Right there, it's clamped. That's it. There you can see how it's... Now here's the thing, I start here, I don't feel pressure. It's here that I feel the pressure is little. So the the range of motion where the intensity kicks in, lift the knee up. Woo! The, I mean, the heels. Lift from the heels. And yeah, it actually just does really well. All right, here we go. So flat foot, here we go. Let's pull that knee up. Then control it down and sit. Woo! Wow, well, it's challenging in the balance department. Right leg up, heels above the hip, and then we're gonna go out, feeling that nice stretch, controlling it with the inner thighs, and turning in, we're gonna do that with those hip flexors. Here's a little uh, hip action here, out to the side. Oh man. Yeah, man, that really gets them going. So yeah, that one, uh, let's see, you could do glutes, just kicking that leg straight up. Oh, man. Yeah, this will definitely. After many reps and, I mean, sets and reps, mm -hmm. getting you that nice burn, it, uh, it, it lives up to its name as far as like what it's for. Yeah. Now. That, so for that, yeah. you would give it like how many stars? I'm gonna give it a four. Well, how about on durability? What do you, uh, what do you give it? So the shield, the boat, that, that part is solid. Mm -hmm. The functional part, the, the attachment part, mm -hmm. the locking part, the clamping part, it's a tedious operation. The time it takes, it's gonna affect your mood to want to use it. Mm -hmm. 100%. I'm gonna give it a two. On the functionality. Functionality, I'm gonna give it a two. And then as far as durability, I'm gonna give it probably a two because you can see that just using these mechanisms for mm -hmm. clamping and locking. It's already stripping. Uh-huh. You're right, this clamping part is good. It's just this this whole thing here. Not only does it, does, you know, the stripping, and, and even when you're putting it on, it's like, it takes a while to kind of crank this thing up, and then you're not, there. this pulls back, or does it press? There's no time to monkey around with Yeah, there's no time, and you like need somebody to show you how to use yeah. it to, to get it, to put it on, do a single leg, take it off, put it on the other leg, do that exercise, take it off, move to night, and maybe do like that three or four circuits, forget it. Like, I think, you know, if you lost this and figured out a way to maybe with an elastic Ooh, that's a, thing yeah. that has a hook in there, really strong elastic, some other way of, of, of locking your foot inside of this um, mechanism, it just has to work. And maybe, like you said, there's a there's a locking mechanism on this that just locks into the dumbbell first because it's just it's it's very awkward right. to get in. So I'm giving it a one on the functionality, on the durability. I'm giving it a two. Right. You know, living up to its name now. Being it a fair coach, you know, well, not to throw more under the bus here, uh -oh. but how much was it? Yeah, oh. eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. Eighty bucks for this. <laughs> so whatever we did, I hope that helped. If you're gonna try to improve on the product, yeah, um, yeah, feature, 
Hope that uh, I can give you some good tips from two old gym guys. I've seen pretty much any everything. All right, to the next episode, to the next product. See y'all later. See you later.